You guys have been out here seeing bands and doing stuff that's you might be a little sleep deprived and doing your thing. And I want to commend each and every one of you for getting up every day and getting into this very important battle we're all in or whatever the fuck. Like about 10 years ago, I first dragged this piece of shit luggage out and started playing shows right around the corner. And I figured what better way to ring this in than to do the very same thing. So I'm gonna play you some songs. My suitcase drum is gonna break constantly. The sweet man is gonna try and fix it. It's gonna go sideways. It's all part of the show. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> actually have to try and fix it too, by the way. Because <laughs> ideally, if my kick works, you guys can do the clap, right? So if I go, well, yeah. Okay, yeah. sick. Okay, you guys got it. We don't need to do that right now. So. <laughs> Fancy home in the hills of Oklahoma. We'll spend our time spending ten dollar bills. Da 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 Spend my money on some purple. 
suitcase drum faster and faster and people go, oh my god! But I already broke it, so... <laughs> nice, thank you. This thing like uh, 125 years ago because I didn't couldn't find a drummer <laughs> and didn't have a car and when you don't have a car to carry drums in you are fucked especially if you want drums so we thought why not why don't we just build a piece of luggage that will break all the time <laughs> then you can argue with it instead of one of your friends <laughs> and you can do crowd gimmicks for the rest of your life and I was like it sounds tight let's do this. <laughs> Give me if I go 
this is a not my not my last outing just because this is the last obligation I have for this festival or the last show I get to play but because uh, my wife is about to have a baby any second <laughs> so the next time you see me all the hair on my body will be pure white <laughs> from having watched a head shoot out of my wife's vagina. Maybe have to slice the cord off. It's a lot, it's some traumatizing shit that we've all been through. So if you see me like two weeks from now and I'm limping and like, look fucking wild, you'll know why. Thanks, bud. Anyway, I'll remember this forever and be like, yep. That was before my little baby Dorito Crunchwrap Supreme was born. That was the last show I, I played at Mohawk, and now my balls are gray. Here we go. I'm just kidding. My balls are already gray. We're all good. <laughs> this is just the way of life, baby. So here's a song that I wrote when I was a younger shithead. And uh, I never thought I would be playing it 140 years later to fucking anybody. So keep doing whatever you're doing. Have fun. Good luck out there. Appreciate it. And fed of me, it's where the staples of our childhood disease. You used to tell me we'd turn into something. You said life was much better than this. But the closest I come to perfection is when you turn around to steal a kiss. Yeah, but you never trusted tomorrow Is that any way to live your life? You love this heart and this extreme girl They did not tell yeah, for some time The structure of a well-placed smile from the baby You never smile Go. You don't have to figure that out right now. Just enjoy your time. 
I'm enjoying this right now. Next time I see you when I'm a withered old, <laughs> like when I look like Mr. Burns, I'll be like, it is worth it. <laughs> I love you a lot. I'm gonna play. I think I got time for one more song. So. Thanks again. Also, thanks to Wasserman for having us out. All the bands have been playing today have fucking ruled, so. I'm very grateful to be in good company. Thank you guys for coming out and slogging through all this weird shit and fi finding time to listen to music. It's really cool. down the street or whatever and right under the bridge in a scary little van or whatever the fuck you want to think and as I made, uh, you know said earlier it's a, it's a long running tradition for Austinites to complain about the growth of this city people have been doing it years before I was ever born I'm part of the problem as well there's just kind of no getting around it but uh Everyone loves to complain when that like restaurant that you'd never even set foot inside of got knocked down to build a juice place and then you're like, mm, yum yum, a juice place or whatever. <laughs> and that's the cycle of life a little bit around here. Um, but I, I, I used to say I didn't really care what they're building, but they're, they've kind of run away with that ball. They're building a lot of shit now. But uh, I would hope that it's not what they build, but it's who's in these buildings. So it means a lot that that you stand for what you feel and you show up and see stuff and, you know, have a problem when someone moves in across from a music venue and is angry that the volume's a little too loud, so. The song goes out to all of us just trying to figure this shit out. So, boy, 
noisy morning is too small to go out of doors. She's too loud for the neighbors, too slow for the chores. And what will she do? Yeah, what will we do for fun and for free? Seems the roads are growing wider and wider most every day. Well, I used to love to stroll, but now I stay off the lanes. Cause what is the use? Standing up if there's nowhere to lean Ooh, but have you seen Oh, yeah, no, 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 no We're not like the others Maybe it's true Just like, like fucking other people, honestly. <laughs> and it's fine. It's the way it goes. <laughs> and we could be. And it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> if we wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> yes means no. <laughs> I got you to cut me off. I love you. Yeah.